What is up everyone? Welcome back to Naruto Online. So today we got some new 6.0 features that came out. For those who were not aware, a few features actually got delayed. Uh, possibly even cancelled. But one of the things that was highly controversial was they announced that they are going to increase the maximum cap um, for refines up to 13. And what this would do is make it way harder for free to plays to ever, well, not just free to play, the whole player base in general to get catch up to like the super high spenders. And sure, even if they didn't do that, the gap is still pretty wide, but adding a 13, like making it up to 13 would make it near impossible. Uh, in addition to that, they also were talking about increasing the initiative rune max from 12 up to 14. Uh, but yeah, that's just a little bit to catch up to news. Something that they did add instead of that, though, was they added a new Tsunade, I believe. Tsunade. I haven't actually looked at her. Yeah, Taisho period. Let's see. Heals up to six team members by 15% of base ninjutsu. Removes all debuffs. That's pretty good. When Chakra's at 100, heals up to nine units. So it's almost a full field heal. That's pretty good. Um, summoning Katsuya attacks up to four units, not affected by shields. Interesting. The strange strength. Uh, a chase that ignores defense, certain amount of defense and resistances. Those are pretty good, those kinds of chases. See, when taking fatal damage, escapes death and heals 100% max life. Can be triggered once per battle. That's pretty good. That could be really good for like GMW whenever it reapplies buffs and stuff. Um... Let's see, Neurotoxin. When Tsunai suffers a tag, there's 45 chance. Okay, so she's like a Sasuke Renin, uh, Renin Sharigan Sasuke, but a healer one. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, that's what happened there. We did get some new events. I'm very curious to check out these events. We got Mega Carnival. This is a completely new event, and it looks very cool. Uh, you get a free spin. What is this? 1% of obtainable event pool. Okay, so I believe these are for getting the coupons in the pool. The current pool is zero. Uh, but this is really cool. There is an old event that used to be like this. I don't quite remember what it was. And it looks like every 10 minutes these rewards um, switch out. So... Maybe I should not pull from here right now. I don't quite know how it works, but it looks interesting. Oh, there's advanced protection vials. Maybe we'll just go for it. Why not? Kind of curious to know what it's going to be. Oh, six Yaboku know, gifts. That's a really good reward. Just saying, or free spin. That's like way better than any of the other free rewards that we get. And then we have these things. You can become a super player VIP by spending ingots. I'm not sure what the discount is for that. That is really expensive for some essences. You need like three of these just to get one gold. Uh, level 7 Magatama, 3000 for one. Oh man. Uh, these things are not cheap. Kakazu. Uh, assist potions. This would be good assuming that the <laughs> If you had the, the, what's it called, the Super Player VIP, I don't know, discount, that's what it is, it could probably be good, but I don't know if just straight up buying that is a good deal. And then Charm Material Packs, okay, interesting, uh, okay, so we got rec uh, time limited recruitment here with some decent stuff. I'm probably just gonna go for these refine packs because they are pretty nice. They're pretty cheap too, like five of them or, or it's basically two refines for 25 points and uh, the free points you get probably like 70 every day. So that's like four advanced refines every day. And then we got total refinements back. Time limited shop, I'm just gonna go for training potions. Daily special. Um, let's see, anything, Beach Party is here, that's pretty good. Uh, and the Ichiraku Ramen Fragments. Pff, nothing too interesting there. 
how much do these keys cost each? Like 10? Uh, yeah, 10. See, you can buy season tickets, 40 coupons for, for one. I didn't know that, that's a new thing. I would not recommend buying those though, because I've seen the rewards and they are definitely not worth 40 coupons each. Uh, but let's see. So assuming you get like three, it'd cost up to 70 for two advanced refines. Would that be worth it? I don't think that's worth it, right? I'm just going to compare it to the daily special here. Uh, that's about the same price as here, but that's assuming you get like the worst price. So I'd say that that uh, doing getting the refine rooms if you actually want to buy them getting from here is actually better than the daily special if you don't have the discount anyways Sakura's gift lots of new ninjas in here and also yes master what are these charm fragments and thread packs Ooh, I might go for the thread packs I haven't really thought about that shinobi feast is still here uh, I can grab that one. <laughs> uh, refine rebate, lucky bag, Fuku deals. Let's check these out. Uh, thread packs here. What is this? Charms. Are these more threads? Lots of thread packs. Uh, Angel Conan. Yes. It's a 2,500 rebate. That's intriguing. I happen to just have 2,500. But nothing. I don't think there's anything that I really want in here. Unless I'm going for Mega Carnival, which looks really fun, but it's so expensive. It's a hundred dollar or a hundred coupons per per draw. But and also we don't have any coupons in the prize pool, so that makes it really useless. If like our server is actually active, this might be worth it to go into. Uh, but let's continue our Fuku deals. More deluxe packs, deluxe packs, level seven Magtamas. Uh, okay, 40 advanced refines, lots of charm packs here, and 100 advanced refines. That's actually really good. And a contracting scroll, and a, a golden essence. Nice. Wheel of Fortune here, we got Susano Kakashi. Uh, oh, they added the advanced refines back. I don't think these were here before. And other than that, I think everything else is the same. Did it give out two cultivation scrolls before? Don't remember. Let's just see what we get. Uh, experimental vial. Thanks for that useless thing. <laughs> um, hey, no one has sniped or like not sniped, but no alts have gotten first yet. That's good. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much this week's lineup. Looking pretty good. I'm quite excited to check those out. Other than that, there has not been too much that has changed with a new update that came out. But we did get a couple new things as well since last time. Did we get... Oh, we're one away. I was hoping to get a free one somewhere. Uh, I really want to see this change. See, uh, this thing's back. <sighs> These are so terrible rewards. I, I think I even skipped over this <laughs> on accident. So I thought it would be pretty fun if, um, I wouldn't say fun, but I think it would be interesting if we just went through some like daily stuff, like what I normally do, just kind of relax, uh, recap this week, because we've got a lot of videos out, so I think it'll be a little bit of fun just to play around with some stuff. Maybe just talk. Not so, like, intense. So I guess I'll just run through my survival trials, basically how these go. These are really easy for me, so I don't really need to... I normally just AFK these. Don't have to worry about too much. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing pretty well. Right now, I'm doing a bunch of testing, so let's go pretty intense but well we haven't quite tested yet but we're about to get started so it's gonna start getting really hard I normally just do the S's and then the SS missions right there so it's pretty fun or not fun it's pretty short 
Um, let's see, Shikaku, Curious, Position 1, Sasuke. Oh wow, that didn't kill him. It didn't crit. Now a lot of you guys have been like wondering what ninja that I'm going to go for with my coupons. I have like 25k now, so a decent amount. I can, I think I'm going to save for maybe Roni Naruto, because Roni Naruto looks pretty good. And from what I've seen, he's done like a lot of, he like, he's amazing in China, but... We're going to have to see for ourselves how good he is whenever he comes out before we think about purchasing him. But yeah. I don't know why I end with but yeah on all my sentences. Uh, yeah, but survival trial really isn't that much of a difficult experience for me anymore. Which is good. But I just run through these very easy. And since the new scroll came out, I don't know if I showed you guys it last time actually, the Legends Are Back scroll came out, and so I've started going for the Killer Bee frags inside of there. The Seven Sword style Killer Bee, because it allows me to get four star B in, I think, two months? So it's gonna take a while. But it's, I'm slowly collecting those frags for 4 star B. It'll be a nice little power boost though. So once we get that, then I don't know what to spend with my survival trial coins anymore. Maybe I'll go for 5 star B. But that's going to take ridiculously long, like 7 months. Because I get about 1 frag every single day. <laughs> yeah, it's just slow progress. We're halfway there though. Ah... Uh, uh, let's go check out the grocery store. Oh, I forgot to buy yesterday. I always max out <laughs> my advanced refine runes. We're very close to the Psy, youth, summer youth Psy outfit. Like 60, 58 strain stones away. So that's going to be really nice when we get that. Uh, here's what the current season is looking like. I actually dropped under to second place, but that's because... Um, I forgot to join a couple of the Great Ninja Wars, so uh, once I get this, I should be back caught up. And in addition to that, we can also still get um, Unstoppable and also Tracking the Rebels and Naruto Fan, which Cat Quiz is actually happening today, so that's going to be cool. Uh, but yeah, that's about it, guys, for this episode. Thank you for watching. A little bit chilled back today, but I do hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope to see you guys next time. Peace out.